Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we're going to be heading off to Dragon Trail Gardens for a race in the BMW, v, uh, the BMW competition against other BMWs. First of all, I'm just checking to make sure that we are on the hard setting that we're using for all of these races now. We're on that setting. So we will head across to Dragon Trail where we've got a number of races to do. Uh, we've got the World Touring Car 7 and 800, but we're going to be doing this European FR Challenge 550 today. I'm going to be using the M2 Competition with Racing Soft Tyres, and I've set the Output Adjustment to 75, the Ballast to 0, and the Power Restrictor to 77, just to bring myself to the 550 performance points. Now, if you're struggling... There is no restriction on the power on the performance points for this particular race, so you could easily max out this car, or you could even choose a faster car. I wanted to have a decent race on this one, so I've brought my PP slightly closer to the other cars, and let's see how we do. So most of the cars that we're up against in this race are BMWs, so good choice to use this BMW M2 competition, which is a beautiful car. We don't need to worry about tyres and fuel, so we're just going to completely go for it. We're on traction control setting number one, and we've really just got to go for it. This is one of those last to first races, and we've only got three laps. So please pause and rewind the video if you want to see where my braking, my overtaking places are, where I'm accelerating, gears, etc. Although for the rest of this video, I am going to try and talk my way through it. One of the things I will say is be careful of the AI because some of these cars get really out of shape and they can potentially catch you out. So I've gone second gear for what's effectively, I think, is the hairpin. Up through the gears, so into third for this one, just leaving it in third as we negotiate this car. Looking to pick up this apex, just chose second just to get it slowed down a little bit through there. Possibly didn't need to, but just being a little bit cautious. The CSL has got out of shape in there, and as I said, there's the warning. They do come back and bite you. Uh, that CSL in particular is all over the place. This little section through here is a series of corners that you really want to treat almost as one corner. Like keep feathering the throttle, leave the gear in third and just keep turning. Use all of the outside of the track and the apexes but just keep it rotating. I'm braking at the um, either the beginning of the kerb or, or that orange part of the Arnco on the right hand side and then once we get past and through to start another lap then we can absolutely let it run down here. So for this corner at the bottom here I'm looking for the, uh, like the, the Dragon Trail sign, that second one, down into third gear so that was the, the black sign on the right hand side. As we come down into this corner, I'm looking for the 100 meter board. And then I just need to be careful through here where we've got these other cars. So I'm choosing second, but normally third gear through there is pretty good. That BMW got wildly out of shape as well. Could easily have come back and hit us. Thankfully it didn't. So just pushing through again as we head down into this corner looking for the 100 meter board or the beginning of the curbs there, getting it down into second gear, rotated, and then we can come through this little beautiful section of corners, apexing using third gear all the way through here. You could probably get it up into fourth, I'd actually drop that down into second just for a little bit of rotation, but I tended to find that third was a really nice gear all the way through there and also through this section. We've caught this BMW M3 at an unfortunate time, managed to do him on the outside, but you can see here that we're just basically treating this little section, little section, it's almost like a hexagon, uh, to just treat it all as one huge compound corner and just try and carry the speed all the way through. Braking, as soon as you see that orange bit of the arm cove on the right hand side, getting it down into third gear again this corner 
treat that as a compound corner again apexing the in and the out but letting it drift out to the outside of that curb and that would give you a nice run down this initial straight so this is the final lap we are 1.3 seconds ahead of the cars behind beautifully balanced this BMW M2 around here we haven't got any more worries about the AI cars flying around all over the place so just watching for our braking points our turning points where we're going to get the power down just being really really careful but this is essentially a really easy race on these settings with this car on the hard settings to bring this home for the gold trophy so again braking at the beginning of that curb heading straight to the apex pick up the curb just get it rotated around using second gear and then just let this run through these beautiful sections the third gear picking up these apexes really getting the car over the curbs for some of these still in third still in third still in third this just flows beautifully and then we get into this like this little hexagon section you see they're picking up the apex going to the outside going to the outside again just going to the outside again, ignoring all of the apexes, picking up that final apex. I think you can still go quicker through there, but that is just a joy for those corners. This one, we're picking up the orange part of the arm cove right there. And again, just treat this as a single curve. So picking up the apex, keep it turning, pick up the other apex, and then a run to the line 4.6 seconds ahead on a similar PP rated car to the other cars that you are racing and that is how I did gold for this particular challenge. I do love my BMWs but it was quite nice because they were all BMWs in that particular race so we're in keeping with the competition but you've got all sorts of BMWs that you can choose from in this particular race. So that's the European FR Challenge 550 gun. Uh, we didn't get a clean race bonus because we did catch a couple of cars, in particular that CSL that came across and we couldn't quite avoid him, which was a real shame. I do think that we could easily have got a clean race bonus in this race if we tried a little bit harder and been aware of those cars getting a little bit out of shape. But there we go. My recipe for getting gold at this particular race really really easy in a beautiful beautiful car if you found this video useful please consider giving it a thumbs up it really does help the channel and i would be i, I really wish there was a few more of you that are watching that would be hitting the like button because it really does help the channel if you're new around here please subscribe for more content like this i'm running through the world circuit races at the moment and i'm going to be live streaming the daily races very very soon i'm just finishing putting my live streaming rig together and if you are a current subscriber and you're back for more thanks ever so much for continuing to support my channel you are so appreciated it is absolutely brilliant the support that you are giving me right now and i'm looking forward to doing more and more on this channel over the next six to twelve months for now thanks ever so much for watching I'll see you again on another video coming very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.